Hello, Eric. Hey. 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 How Hello, are you? Teacher. How are you, man? Uh, good. Sleep. A sleepless, but a good. Nice. Sleepless or sleepy. Better than yesterday. Yep. Uh, well, it. My camera is not turning on for some reason. Let me see what's going on. So how's work, man? How's the airport? Hey, how's traffic at the airport now? Uh, nice. Yeah, we have a lot of traffic even during that uh, the latest hour. During, uh, even during what? Usually, American all the all the American airlines uh, come to almost at midnight. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool, man. Yeah. So, so traffic is. I, I don't know. After the pandemic. So, so what companies have you know what airlines have gone bankrupt? Uh, maybe, for example, Avianca was set by a few companies. Mm -hmm. Even Taka was in, involved in this in this in that company. But for example, Laxa is not coming right now. Laxa oh. have no flights to El Salvador, but Taka, as Taka, yes, they are flying. And let's see, there are other other airlines, for example, that they have uh, stopped their, their flights, like um, Volaris. I don't know why they stopped for a month. They said that they will not, they're gonna be started in March. Oh, okay. So maybe they have some issues with people or, or something. They might still. So, but the curious thing is that the, the the American Airlines they started to come at at midnight. For example, United, Delta, and American come at twelve at midnight or one or three in the morning. Maybe the the, the tickets are cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay. Oh yeah, because of the because of the time. Yeah, probably. Hello, girls. Yeah. All right, that's that's pretty cool, uh, Eric. And uh, hello, welcome, uh, Karina and uh, Laura. How are you, Laura? How do you, how are you feeling? I'm okay. All right. So, Karina, what about you? How are you? Fine, teacher. Uh, all right. I'm fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, guys. So um, let's see if everybody else, you know, if, if someone else joins. Me. Um, this is the last class from the module, guys. So we're gonna go over a couple of extra things, okay, such as the the answers for all of your questions. You should have already completed the platform. Um, Eric, Karina, and Laura, have you completed the platform? Yes, I had. Not I in my case. Oh. Lucky you. What are you missing? Uh, I don't know, but I've been I having some struggle with 4.2 and 4.6. Oh, okay, man. But did you did you finish the midterm? I mean, did you nope. finish the final? Oh yeah, exam? the mid. No, the final exam. But I'll do it tomorrow. I, I'll do it today. Are you, okay, it needs to be completed before today, guys. Okay, so you need to do it immediately. You, you're, you're done, right, Karina? Yeah, I'm just missing some some exercises because I don't know what happened, but right. uh, I am having 99 now. I need just to have my 100. Okay, all right, very good. Uh, what about you, Laura? I know that you've been sick, but uh, I don't know how you're doing with the platform. Yes, just I couldn't do two of them, but I did the 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 final and uh, midterm. All right, but you finished the final midterm. Yeah. Very good, guys. Okay, so um, so we're gonna go over the you know some of the answers first, guys, and then we're gonna get into the grammar stuff. Okay. Um. So in case you know we. You know what? Let's let's just wait for everybody else, and then we do that. Uh, let me start with the grammar first. I think that's that would be a better idea. All right, guys. 
So anyways, okay, let's talk about compound adjectives, okay, which is the next topic, okay. Now, in reality, guys, all right, the the non the the compound adjectives that we have in the platform are very simple, okay? But there is a rule behind them, okay? That's what we're going to see. All right. So, uh Eric, would you please be so kind to help me read? Compound adjectives. A compound adjective is made up of, of two or more words just put together. Some adjectives are compound. Some are written as one word, close. And some are hyphenated. Few are written as two words, open. Very good. Okay. What do we understand by this, Laura? So what is a compound adjective in your own words? Well, it's a word that has two words, but has a the same meaning or something like that. Okay, it's a word that has two words, or is it uh, something else? That meaning that together means the same. Right All right, now. very good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, good job, Laura. Uh, Carolina, what do you think, Carolina? Now, for me, it is just a word that has two words together. It can be separated by the, it says by a hyphen. So I think that it is. By a hyphen. Okay. Very good, guys. So in your own words, guys, you can say that a compound adjective is an adjective made up of multiple words. Okay. Not necessarily, guys, adjectives. Okay. It doesn't mean that it's going to be multiple adjectives only okay it is in fact multiple words okay got it some of them are written as one word the ones that we have in the platform what, what do you think are they closed or are they open they're closed actually right because you write them down as one word okay all right so, but there is a rule behind it, okay? So let's take a look at some of the rules, okay? All right, guys, so when we talk about, um, when we talk about compound adjectives, the first thing that comes to our mind is, you know, putting multiple words together, right? And they work as a single idea. They work as a? Single idea. Work as a single idea, guys. That's a okay. single idea. All right, let's let's take a look at the first example. Who would like to help me read? I. Let's go, Carolina. Go, go, go. Carolina's um, half finished essay sat on the counter. Counter. We're good. My. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. That's the first. <laughs> one. Thank you very much. Okay, you can read the second one if you want. I was gonna ask somebody else. But go ahead. Okay. My two-year-old sister loves puppy. Very good, okay. So first one, guys, okay. Gina's half-finished essay sat on the counter, okay. So where is the the adjective here? Where's the compound oh, adjective? Finished. Very good, half-finished. All right. So now, guys, okay, here is here is the, the adjective, right? Very good job, okay. Well spotted, all right. So there you can see the adjective, okay? Where is the adjective on the second sentence? In the second sentence, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Two years old. Oh, guys. Is it two years old or two year old? Two year old. Two year old. Two year old, okay. Why is it two year old and not two years old? No idea. I, I thought it was two years. <laughs> No, guys, it is two year old. Okay, that's how you say it. That is not a mistake. All okay, right? but why? How we're gonna I have that. never. Seen it. You have never seen that? No, just, or at least I I saw it, but I just. People, people use know. it all the time. I use it all the time. I right? just skip it. <laughs> I don't know. So guys, all right, we're gonna we're gonna see that that rule, guys. Okay, but what I want to show you here, guys, how many words do we have in the first sentence? <laughs> Okay, we have two. Two. Right? What does an adjective do, guys? 
that's that's what I want you to remember forever. Okay, what does an adjective? It, is, what it describes the noun. It describes the subject, right? Very good. It describes the subject of a sentence, or you can describe an object of a sentence as well. Okay, all right. So that's what an adjective does, guys. Okay. All right, Eric. What does an adjective do? Uh, it describes uh, the subject of a sentence, or even can describe an object of the sentence. Okay. Very good. Okay. So uh, it describes the subject. Okay, of a sentence. Now, guys, whenever you use hyphens, whenever you put words together, I can say, for example. Um, I can say Carolina is a Carolina is a um, uh, smart. No, no, no. Uh, a smart tumbler. You can say a hard working person. See, oh. you can say this. Okay, Carolina is a hard working person. Okay. But these right here, guys, okay, it could be hyphenated, right? So if it is hyphenated, what happens? Now, every time they use it with hyphens, what ha what's going to happen, guys, is that you are never, ever, guys, all right, you're not going to use an adjective with plurals, okay? Not like this, okay? Never. All right, you can say, for example, a three year old car all right so see so you can say this oh you know what i have a three year old car notice here guys the reason why guys is because you were asking me now why is it not three years old card okay because these right here the fact that you're using hyphen means that you're making one word Okay, mm -hmm. and this is an adjective. Okay, so let's call this. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna call this an adjective. Okay, so this and means we guys, do not pluralize. We do not pluralize adjectives, right? You can, you do not pluralize, pluralize them when you use them with hyphens as a one adjective. If you use it as a, you can say, you know, um, you can say, I mean, you they they don't have plurals anyways. All right, okay. But you can say, for example, a beautiful car, right? A beautiful mm -hmm. car. You can say an amazing car. You can say, all right, you can make up your own adjectives. A two-door car. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. You don't say a two-door car? No. Right? Very good. So uh, let's see. Claudia, welcome, yeah. Claudia. All right, Eric, so how would you say, how would you say, um, un carro de cinco puertas? A five-door car. A what? A five-door five car. car. Very good. Good job. Okay, that's how you say it, all right? See? Very good, guys. Is it clear so far so good? Yeah. Yes, it is. All right. Very good, guys. Now, guys, okay, help me read. Uh, Laura, if you're so kind, please help me read. Use a hyphen. Some combination general, generally use hyphens. They include the following. Very good. Okay, Prefixes. Include... Uh -huh, go ahead. Prefixes with words that must be cap capitalized. 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 Pro-American numbers or letters combined with words 20 foot. Prefix prefixes with dates. Prefixes. My prefixes with dates. My 1920s. Mid 1920s, okay. 1920s. All right, guys. So there are some. Okay, so these are basically, guys, three rules of using hyphens. Okay. By the way, guys, do we all know what hyphens are? Hello, yeah. Sandra. Welcome. And Emer. Hello there. 
Where are you, Emer? Say hi, man. <laughs> All right, how are you, Sandra? Welcome. All right, guys, so let's continue, okay? So the first rule, guys, prefixes, okay? Now, do we know what a prefix is, guys? <laughs> Who does not know what a prefix is? All right. Very good, guys. So there are some words, guys, that must be capitalized, okay? All right. So, for example, why do you think that we're capitalizing American, pro-American? Why is it like this, pro-American? American comes from a proper noun. Very like good, okay. Capital letter. It's a nationality, guys, okay? All nationalities mm -hmm. must be capitalized, okay? All right, very good. Rule number two, numbers of letters or letters combined with words, okay? For example, tell me, tell me, uh, I don't know how, like, uh, how tall are you, uh, Sandra? I am 1.71. 1.71. Oh my god, you're yeah. tall for a woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's great. Okay. Very good. Okay, so that's about 5.6 foot. Okay. Yep, it is. All right, very good. Right? All right, very good, guys. So the, the, the reason I'm saying that, guys, is because in America, we don't use, say, you know, meters and centimeters. Um, so that they, they use, you know, feet instead, right? So you would say, you know, you can say Sandra. So I want to say, guys, okay, I want you to say that she's 5.6 feet, okay? I think it's 5.5 .5 or 5.6, okay? Something like that, right? So she's 5.6 5 foot, okay? So, so how do I say that? I want to say Sandra es una chica de 5.6 pies. Okay. Sandra is a 5.6 foot girl. Very good. A 5.6 hyphen foot, foot girl. girl. Very good. All right, Laura, why am I not saying feet? Sandra is a 5.6 5. 5. feet girl. Because you are talking in plural. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm talking in plural, yes. So it should be feed, right? Why is it not feed and why is it food? Sandra is a 5.6 foot girl. Because feed is just a, just one and food is two, <laughs> I don't know. All right, very good, okay, all right, good, good try. All right, Sandra, tell us, tell us, Sandra. Food is singular. Yeah, food is singular, so, but that's the yeah. question, guys. The question is, all right, why am I saying 5.6 foot girl instead of instead of 5.6 feet girl? If 5.6, you know, is plural, right? I'm talking about multiple things. Maybe I don't know. Because you are just uh, you remake. Because you're referring to the 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 measure as a unit. Very good. Because guys, the answer, okay, the answer is. Because this uh, is an adjective, guys, uh, okay? And it is just one word. Exactly, okay? This is an adjective, okay? You can substitute it, all right? You can say, Sandra is a, see? You can say smart girl. You can say a tall girl, uh, right? Yes? So you can yes, substitute you can. it with an adjective, right? You say smiley girl, right? All right? So anyways, all right? So that's... That's the reason why, guys, okay? So every time, guys, that you use it with hyphens, when you use combined words, even though they are, you know, 20 foot, you know, why is it 20 foot and not 20 feet? Let's pretend that Sandra is a giant, right? Why is it as 20 foot, uh, Sandra is a 20 foot tall girl and not a 20 feet tall girl if I'm saying 20? Why? Because... It's an adjective. Because it is an adjective. Very good. Okay, so that is the, the answer. Okay. All right. So Laura, why is it 20 foot tall girl and not a 20 feet tall girl? 
Because it is an adjective. <laughs> Very good, because it is an adjective, okay? You can say, right, let's pretend that Sandra, all right, Sandra is, I don't know, Sandra is, has a um, 10 arms, okay? <laughs> Sandra is a 10 arm girl, okay? Yeah. So see? So, so you can say she has 10 arms, right? So not, 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 not just two, right? But again, the reason why I'm using a singular is because it's, a, it's an adjective. And notice something else, guys. Is arm an adjective? Mm, not right. No. I just made it up. Well, well, come back. All right. It's a combination of words which turns it into an adjective because we're using a hyphen, okay? All right, very good. Now, guys, the only exception here, guys, and the reason why is because this is actually not a plural per, per se, <coughs> right? When you say years, guys, okay? These right here, guys, you always have to say, you know, you can say the mid-20s or the, you can say the late, for example, the early... 20s or the mid 50s okay or you can say the late 90s okay all right now here guys here is the exception okay where you do have to use it like that because we're talking about a decade okay and decades need to be used with an s at the end Okay. All right. So far, is it good, guys? Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. So moving on. All right. Then we have hyphenated adjectives in a list. Okay. Now this one, guys, is a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more complicated. Okay. All right. So Sandra, would you be so kind to help me read? From the topic. Yes. Hyphen, oh, hyphenated adjectives in a list. If you use two or more hyphenated adjectives in a list, you can suspend the hyphen. Very good, okay. Use two or more hyphenated adjectives in a list, you can suspend the hyphen. Now, this is not so commonly used, guys, okay? But you can say, for example, like vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate flavored ice cream. Okay. Now, why why is this like this, guys? This is so weird, right? Why is it not just, you know, without the the hyphen? What do you think, Emer? So why am I not saying this without the hyphen? Think about it. Think about the logic behind it. Why do I need to? write it down with a hyphen. What do you think, Karina? Or Laura? I'm sorry, Laura. Because it has the comma. Or we have to use the comma. Mm, okay, it's kind of there. I'm not sure if... I mean, yes, you are right, but I'm not sure if... if, if, uh, if it is what I understand. Okay? It has something to do with this, okay? It's because, teacher, I think it is because we're describing an ice cream with four adjectives, but you want to make them just one, like vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, flavor, ice cream, and you can all write them together, so you need to use the high cream. Or because it has more than two adjectives. Okay, all right. You're very close. Both of you are very close to the answer. The real, the real reason, guys, is this, okay? Can You could say, I like vanilla flavor. Hyphen or no hyphen here, guys, if I say vanilla flavor. Hyphen. Okay. I like vanilla flavor, straw, berry flavor, and chocolate, right? Chocolate, um, chocolate, 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 
chocolate flavored ice cream, okay? So now, guys, okay, the reason why, what happens, how does this sound, guys? Hey, uh, Carolina, I like uh, vanilla. Hold on, guys, vanilla. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Right, I like vanilla flavored, vanilla. strawberry flavored, chocolate flavored ice cream. You're so repetitive. Very good. Yeah. That's the answer, guys, because of redundancy, because of? Redundancy. Redundancy. Okay, right. So you don't want to be redundant, right? Mm. All right. So very good. All right. Another example. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do you like? Let's talk about something. Let's talk about, I don't know, guys. What are the things? I mean, you can talk about, you know, about other things. I mean, I mean you so can talk about <laughs> other things that are not, you know, uh, Ice cream, right? Soup. Yeah. Okay, all right. Chicken soup. Never would YouTube. I have, never, never <laughs> would I have imagined you saying soup, you know? Anyways. Why? All right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who comes up with that? You know, you should, you should have said pizza or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> all right, very good. Anyway, so Sandra, all right, Sandra likes, all right, what, what type of soups do you like? Seafood, sea soup, I mean. Sea, sea soup. Sea soup. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's where like chicken. sea, chicken, meat, meat. and now, vegetables. There, there is something here. <laughs> you're going to notice something here, guys. Okay. All right. And. All right. Vegetables. Come here. Come here. Come here. And vegetable. Soup. Now, is there something wrong here, guys? What do you think? What is wrong with this sentence? I think. <laughs> I think. I think. Where? I don't know. Is this? Is this it? Is this? Is this correct? No, teacher. Okay, so what's wrong, guys? The thing, that, the thing is that I remember that when you're writing adjectives before a noun, you should write just a comma, like she likes sea, com, me, comma, and vegetable soup. But Very good, okay, that, that would be technically correct. But what's wrong here? How can you correct this using hyphens? Think, guys, okay, think. Okay, we're not going to move on from here until you give me the answer. Just vegetable hyphen soup. Vegetable what? Vegetable what, Karina? Hyphen soup. Vegetable hyphen soup. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not okay, it. You didn't write the soup. That's not it. Okay, right? That, again, that's not it. The answer is what I taught you already okay think about what i taught you analyze this okay and tell me what's wrong how can we correct this using hyphens okay i do want you to use hyphens so how can we do it Emer, bring out your ideas eric laura let's think and see what's how can we correct this Think about it. What is the, the topic of today's topic, guys, is compound adjective, right? <clears throat> Those are nouns. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Let me ask you something. Is this an adjective? Uh, hello. Is this an adjective? Yes or not, guys? No. No. Yes or no, no. I think we need an adjective. For example, vegetables, I hyphen something. Soup. Oh my God! Good job, oh, Imer. Yeah, See, yeah. that's why Imer is a programmer, right? Good mm -hmm. job, Imer. All right. So what yeah. do we do then? Okay. So Imer gave you the first part of the answer. So what? What? What, what can we do? Type or kind. So, what client? A vegetable client no. soup. Kind or type. A vegetable kind soup. Ab soup. <laughs> Flavor. <laughs> so flavor. 
Very good. O, Plus for email. It could be, it could be delicious soup. No, oh. that 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 no, that that cannot be. Okay. All right, Sandra likes sea chicken meat and vegetable flavored soup. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Very good. All right, Emer. All right. Good job, man. Good, good, good job. Okay. All right, guys. Any questions so far? Very good. Okay. Very good. All right. So not long hyphenated adjective. Okay. So this is this is one of guys. You can make up your own adjectives, okay? All right. Can I say, guys, how do I know that this is an adjective, guys? How do I know that this is an adjective? How do I know that this is an adjective? Look at how many words do we have here. It is an adjective, guys, if you can replace it with an adjective. Also because, you know, it has hyphens, okay? All right. Also, be, because, guys, you can't say, my old is annoying, but something's cute little sister was bugging me again, right? All right. This right here, if you were, if, you know, if you were in a, an adjective, it wouldn't make sense. The structure wouldn't make sense, okay? It has to be an adjective. So now, you can, can you say the amazing students? Why not? Very good, right? Because it is a, what is amazing, guys? Right. It is an adjective. It is an adjective. Can you say instead of uh, my my always annoying but sometimes cute little sister, can you say my beautiful sister? Yes. No. My beautiful yes. little sister was bugging me again. Yes, guys. So see, these guys, okay, this is how you know that these are adjectives. You can substitute it with adjectives, okay? All right. For example, I can say my... My son, my soon to be wife. Do you know what that means? My soon to be wife. Everybody my repeat. Wife. My soon to be wife. My, my soon, soon to be wife. My soon to be wife. Very good. Okay. Now notice, guys, that I'm not joining. Why do you think that I'm not joining wife here with a hyphen? Because you are describing your wife. The word wife. Very good. Yeah. My applause for Emer, guys. Yeah. Good job, all right? And Sandra, too. I think you got it, too, Sandra, all right? Very good. So my soon-to-be wife, right? So here, guys, okay? See, this is not... This is not... I mean, these are words, guys. This is not... Soon is not an adjective. Two is not an adjective. B is not an adjective, right? But I put them together because I made an adjective. I made up an adjective. What do I mean by this? Me, I, I don't know how to say it in Spanish, guys, okay? But it technically means, mi pronto a ser esposa, got it? That's how you would translate it, mi pronto yeah. a ser esposa, right? Engaged. Right, right? <laughs> if you were, yeah, if I if I were engaged, right? But, but no. All right, so my soon-to-be wife, right? So can I say my, my short wife? Why not? Exactly, right? We can say it, right? Because it is an adjective. All right, guys, give me one example, okay? Think about anything, guys, okay? Anything that you can turn into an adjective and, and just say it, okay? I want you to say my blah, 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 adjective, right? And then noun, okay? Or you can use a pronoun. No, no, just, just a noun, okay? No. All right? Think about it, okay? So everybody send me one example. And let's start with you, Emer, okay? You're gonna give me one example here, life, and everybody send me in the chat an example, okay? Carolina, let's send me an example, uh, an example, please. Emer, let's go. My much, my machine super explosive car. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> my, 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 first of all, it's machine, not machine, right? Machine. Machine is like, when you're about to, you know, to 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 go fists with someone, right? All right, to fight with, with someone. All right, uh, let's change that, okay? Yeah, let's nah. talk about your car, okay? All right, so he's gonna say my blah 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 car, all right? Go ahead, Emer. I know you can do it. 
Uh, Eric says, my wonderful and lovely car. All right. Yes, my that, that is a correct sentence, Eric. But that is not, I want you to make up, all right, a compound adjective uh, using hyphens, okay? All right, go ahead, Emer. My always loud. Very good, and, my always loud. And super, and super fast. And super fast. Carry me car. machine. <laughs> All right, let's do it like this. <laughs> Carrying me. All right, you can say my always loud and super fast car. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. All right, very good. Applause for humor, guys. Good job. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Sandra, give me yours. Okay. My old, awful, and long dress has disappeared. My long, my old, awful, and long okay. dress. Now, here you don't need to use uh, and though. Okay, my old, awful, long dress, dress has, has disappeared. disappeared. My old, awful, long dress has disappeared. Very good. Okay, applause for Sandra. Good job. Okay. My old, awful, long dress has disappeared. Okay. Catalina says, my little dramatic smart girl is sleeping. Very good. Okay. All right. I take it that's your daughter. Right. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Laura, give me one, Laura. I'm not sure, but I guess that I can say my sick. Slow beauty body. My sick, <laughs> slow, beauty, beautiful body. Okay. My sick, slow, slow though? Mm -hmm. Slow? Okay. I mean, yeah, you can say that. My sick, slow, beautiful body. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good job, Laura. My sick, slow, beautiful body. All right. All right. Very good, guys. All right. I think that you got the idea, guys. Okay. All right. Any questions, guys, here? All good? All right. So now, guys, describe your friends, okay? All right, let's talk for a little bit, okay? Describe your friends. If you want to describe your family, guys, your couples, you know, your toxicals, toxicas, right? Go ahead, right? Just talk about whatever you, you know, whatever makes you happy, whoever makes you happy, okay? All right, so let's get into groups, guys, and describe them, all right? You can say... Mm, I don't know. Um, my my best friend is a is a smart, awesome-looking guy. Okay, I don't know. Whatever you wish, guys. Okay. All right. Just have a conversation, though. I don't want you to just give sentences. All right. Just have a conversation. Right. Sounds good. Uh, right, May. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> So I think in something, but I thought in something, but I don't know if it will be correct. Something like my best friend is, uh, but I, I have to add, it doesn't matter if it's an adjective in the sentence. You have to use, I, I, think, I, I think I understand what you're trying to say. Non-adjectives words can be turned into adjectives. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't necessarily need to use an adjective, right? As long as you use hyphens, I mean, if you if you put them together with hyphens, if you talk like that, you know, then that turns them into adjectives. Okay. You can, for example, say my long-awaited, my long-awaited, right? My long-awaited concert. Okay. Mi tan esperado concierto, right? My long-awaited concert. Got it? So you can say something like that, right? And awaited is not really an adjective, okay? All right, very good, okay? So let's go, guys, and practice together before Sandra falls asleep. <laughs> let's go. Hello there. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Carolina. Hi, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hi. 
So we're going to talk about a friend or someone from your family, like describing this person in a conversation. So, hey, my so hardworking, strong husband is sleeping, so that's why I can Okay. So I will tell you, or I will describe my best friend who is a uh, pretty short and um, smart girl who lives in the United States. And she nah, is nah, already- nah, United States. Sorry? Nah. You have to use the article that. Oh, who lives in the United States. Yes. Okay. okay. And she's already engaged with this very hard working and I think he's handsome boyfriend. Okay. They are really happy just now. Okay. That's uh it sounds like a fairy tale. <laughs> no, I I'm just yes. saying that word. Okay, let so. me let me uh yep. Let me try to describe something. For example, I'm gonna talk about things. Um, for example, yesterday I was uh, driving in my all, all and fast, all and fast car to the my, to my my work, and I saw a and I saw a terrible and I saw a terrible a terrible. And oh, I, I saw a terrible uh, accident uh, on the highway. Also, one of my friend, also one of my one of my all all and all and scarce friends was uh, driving was 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 right was was sitting beside me uh, on the car and he got and he got scared because of the accident and well I'm gonna try to do it easier uh, I'm gonna describe my dog my uh, my uh, beautiful and younger an athletic dog is amazing. And also, uh, we have some uh, some uh, some young, and we and also we have some young and beautiful cats. I guess we have to add more more words, right? At least three. Yes. Or more, if you want. Okay. Can you do, uh, give me one more example? Yes, of course. About my friend who lives in France. Well, she is a really short, beautiful, and freckless girl who has already had a baby whose name is Rhythm. And that baby is really smart. And beautiful. So they are. That's nice. That's nice. Now yours. Hmm? That means singing something. Well, my group, my. I think that my group for friends are uh, great, amazing, lovely uh, people to enjoy life, friends. <laughs> okay. Okay. My toxic, lovely, handsome boyfriend. <laughs> You're toxic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
All right, very good, guys. How you doing? How you doing, mate? Make it going. You make me laugh. Man. Yeah. I'm sorry, Larry. What were you gonna say? Hmm? What were you gonna say? I would like to have a. A uh, room like yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Take a, look you at, take a look at uh, Emer. Actually, there is like clothes hanging in the background, and that's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, have yeah, a I, got my, with I got my, my wardrobe in the background. With my green screen. Green screen, green screen, not green, green screen. screen. Green screen is is like something for higher that. For what? That I. Green skin is is a medicine that I used to take for my hair and my, oh, <laughs> and my nails. Okay. All right. <laughs> green skin. All right. It's right. the name. All right. Very good. All right. So we're gonna go back now, guys. Okay. Good practice. Welcome back. Hello. All right. Hello there. <laughs> All right, guys. So before we move on, guys, we do have to take a look at this. Okay. This is another, you know, these are compound adjectives as well, right? Now, what we're going to do, guys, is that we're going to join, you know, these two words together. Okay. So let's do this real quick, guys. Okay. Culturally, what guys? What can aware, you can say reliant, sensitive, and stutter church. Right, right, culturally aware, culturally what? Uh, sensitive. Uh, culturally sensitive, okay. Culturally, what else? What else? Oh, now, the sorry. thing is that, guys, you can join them, <laughs> them almost all of them together. The reason <laughs> that what it is, guys, is that. Some of them don't make sense, okay? You have to make sense of what you're trying to say, okay? All right, so culturally aware, culturally, Hurt. culturally what? Hearted. Hearted? Hearted. Hearted, okay, culturally hearted. All right, let's talk about none. None what? Aware. None aware, okay. What else? Non Motivated. Non conforming. Non-judgmental, non okay. Non-sensitive. All right, non-sensitive, perhaps. Okay. A starter. Open what? Minded. <laughs> Open minded. Very good. Okay. Open minded. Open hearted. Uh, open hearted. All right, self what? Motivated. Assured. Self motivated. Self assured. Starter. Real. Starter. Starter. Judgmental. Starter. Okay, very good, guys. Okay. Self conforming. Conforming. <laughs> conforming. <laughs> very good. All right, guys. So here we have them, guys. Okay. All right. So culturally aware, culturally sensitive, non conforming, non judgmental, open hearted, open minded, self assured, self motivated, self reliant, etc. Okay. All right, you're going to notice, guys, that uh, because, because this right here, guys, is an adverb, okay, that modifies the adjective, okay, you don't use a hyphen here, okay? All right, non guys can be used when you use it with ing, guys, you don't put them together. All right, well, with adjectives in general, guys, okay, you don't, you don't, you don't use them with, um, with hyphens, okay? Everything else, guys, does, all right? But that's pretty much the gist of it, okay? We have 10 minutes, guys, or less, I think. We have nine minutes, all right? Um, so let's wrap this up, guys, okay? You have until today, guys, to finish the platform. If you have not finished it, I think, Carolina, you did. Claudia, have you finished the platform? Uh, uh, almost, teacher. Almost. Okay, very good. Nice. I have a. I have a little. Okay, very good. Uh, Laura, I... are you gonna be able to finish? The... I'm sorry, Claudia. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You, you, you were saying, Claudia. Uh, 
eh, no, teacher, eh, almost, almost I finished the platform. Okay. Eh, I only have eh, casi, almost eh, 80%. Okay. 80%. Uh, all right, very good, guys. Get 100%. Okay, now, guys, uh, I know some of you had issues with the final exam. What, what, which questions do you need help with? Quickly, we have eight minutes, guys. With... I'm having with the part C. Okay. And then I'm on a table with my money. With the sentence <coughs> number two of the part Let's two. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number one, number two? Part of two. the part two, yes. Okay. By January Paola. All right. I wrote, will have been studying. For four years. By January, it will have been studying for four years. Okay. All right. Uh, did you try complete with the verb of you, the future perfect? Did you use future per Did you use both future perfect and future perfect continuous? Yeah. All right. And I none did. Of them worked? No. No. All right. Let's see, guys. Okay. Let's see the answers. Okay. This is. I will have been but studying. It is incorrect, right? This is incorrect, yes. It is incorrect in the platform, guys. Mm -hmm. I should be, will have been studying, okay? Not study. Yeah. All right, so let's correct that. Okay, just put it like this, guys, just, just because. Yeah, I have it correct. Yeah. All right, so this is the answer, but your answer is correct, Karina. Your answer is correct, Sandra. The platform wasn't correct this time, okay? Okay. Any other question, guys? In the section four. I got the hundred, but let me section see. Four. In the section four, yes, because hold I on, hold on. Before problem. we move on to the section four, guys, do we have another question from the final exam, guys? No. Okay. Very good. All right, I'm asking now because if you ask me after today, guys, I'm not going to reply to you, okay? Because I'm giving you time to ask me right now, okay? You have to watch the class. If you don't ask me right now, you will have to watch the class, okay? So, all right, so no questions, right? We can move on. All right, so section four, let's go. Yes, part point two. You mean four and, point two? Okay. Yeah, and last sentence, number one. Four points going on. That is weird. Okay, hold on. All right, so four point two, you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, so last which, the last one? Okay. Yeah. So just take a screenshot if you want, or just because of the time. All right, make sure, guys, okay. Uh, to use the right capital, capitalization and and uh, punctuation as well, okay? All right, so that's what I got for number four and number five here. All right, very good. What else, guys? What else? Six. Which one? 4.6. 4.6, okay. Which one do you need, sir? Uh, number six. Number six, okay, very good. All right. Would be. Would be. Yeah, this doesn't have any mistake. What was wrong there? <laughs> this is okay. All right. But anyway. I have problem in the number four. Number four from this section? Wouldn't be shopping. Yeah. Here. Here? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be shopping. Yeah. Wouldn't be shopping? Well, I have that. Wouldn't be shopping. Shopping. Then you must be, you must have something different. Let me check. Oh, the apostrophe. 
I yeah, use the that's, other. That's, guys, be careful, guys. All right, I'm going to say this in Spanish, guys, because this has been a mistake from a long time. Guys, en el teclado ustedes tienen una comilla y tienen un apóstrofe. En a veces mm -hmm. el teclado no tiene apóstrofe, sino que solo tiene comillas. Si ese es su caso, guys, copien la apóstrofe de alguna parte y la peguen, all right? Yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> Okay. The, the Porque si no, le va a salir mala la respuesta. Si pones una yeah. comida en vez de una apóstrofe, te va a salir mala. No es lo mismo. Right? That's my case. Very good. Solo, solo denle así, miren. Copiar aquí, control C y pegar. Y se le pegue. Got it? Yeah. Very good. All right. Um, do we have another one, guys? Sandra, Emer, Laura. Obviously from yep. four and, and the same section four uh -huh. number two. I couldn't see the one. Number two. The section four point two. I couldn't see the number one. Yeah. All right. By this time tomorrow, June. <laughs> June with double O. That's weird. Yeah. June will have been traveling for 24 hours. Okay, thank you. All right. And there's a coma after tomorrow, right? Very yeah. good. Eric, you good, Eric? Yes, I'm okay. All right. Now, do my favor, guys. I need you to send me a screenshot of your completion of the platform, okay? So you go to progress. Okay. And I want to see, guys, that this... Everything says at least 80% or 100%, okay? I would prefer 100, guys. If you want to get 100, guys, if you completed the platform, let me know. If you think that there is a mistake with the platform and you need a, you need help with one of them. All, all videos, I will ask you guys to please watch the YouTube videos because the answers are there. I have shared them. If you have a question with section four and the final exam, then you can reach out to me and I will help, okay? Got it? Okay. All right. So All everything, right. guys, everything from the section three to section one can be found on the YouTube videos. Section four and the final exam, you can ask me and I will help you. All right. So that's. All that right. Day. With that, guys. Um, I don't know, guys. Okay, it's been it's been a pleasure, guys. It's been really nice meeting you. Uh, you got you guys have a great person, you know, a great personality, Emer. Uh, Carolina, Laura, Sandra, Eric, Claudia, you are a very nice class, guys. Okay, I loved being with you, and um, I would say I, I'll see you around, guys, but I'm not going to see you again because there is no more advanced in this section, okay? If you need to get more advanced classes, then there are other type of programs that I'm not into because uh, I don't have that schedule, right? Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, if you need anything, guys, you can reach out to me, okay? I think you guys are awesome, and uh, keep it up, okay? Keep learning. Don't miss classes, guys, because otherwise you're not going to be able to apply for scholarships again, all right? At least connect with your cell phone, all right? Because uh, other teachers might be a little bit more strict, okay, in regards to that. But other than Thank that, guys, teacher. it's been nice meeting Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, you. Bye. Thank you nice to meet you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.